mama was talking to me about about her business. So she said she needed a, a website for her business that she wants to like make her business more known that I should I should do a website for her and, and I asked a lot of questions and she said, Okay, this is how I want it, this is how I want it and I woke up. That was on Friday to Saturday. Okay. So then this morning this morning I had another dream too. I I saw myself in, in an embassy and and I saw one of the attendants there and he said, Oh bring your passport and I gave the person my passport and he went inside and after a while he came back and he gave me back the passport and he said your visa has been approved and I, I now opened the, I opened the passport and I opened the passport I saw that it was like another country entirely and I saw a particular date on it so I was now confused that I, I don't have anything to do with this country so what was the country you saw I saw Germany and I saw November 1 on the okay um the one of mama the one of mama you saw very simple it speaks about you having an idea on your head that you are going to give to her that will still come back to be a blessing to you so i wouldn't want to expand shade. she's already working on the website and all for her business already and uh, i think somebody's already working on it so you now you give the person the idea and the person uh maybe after service you meet her are you seeing that this is just prophecy and it's not aware that she's doing website whatever so have you realized that every one of you you are prophets so you take it for levity then the other one god is telling you that you're going to have a connection with germany and no matter where you go germany is one of the places that you are going to step into so this kind of thing now you write it down huh do you understand i have a i have a dream which is last week i dreamed that uh, i built a house from foundation to roofing level a day and the house collapsed. So God is saying, don't do anything by yourself. Do it with me. Except God build the house. The builders build in vain. So that you will not be inspired to do some things out of God. Then you build empire for yourself out of God. Then one day, what? So what's the direction now? He refocus more on who? I had a dream that I did an elaborate wedding. So I went to meet my pastor at home. So the man said I should be paired. So I had the same dream twice again. I told another person, the person said I, I have a spiritual husband. So I don't know the ones who believe. I had the dream twice. Then the second one, I was in a car, a fancy car. I was telling someone to teach me how to drive. I had that same dream three times. Even though I had it day before yesterday, like telling someone, please teach me how to drive. And at times I will have a dream that, and I will put Lena at the back of my own personal car, and someone will be directing me, this is how you should drive, this is how you should drive. Is that is how how you don't have any spiritual husband? At all? You don't have any spiritual God husband? He's just showing you his plan for you, where he wants to take you to. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But however... The other one you saw, have I debunked the spiritual husband thing? Yes, sir. Forget it. Then the, the other one you saw where you, you were asking somebody to teach you how to drive. Very simple. Can I shock you? So you are busy asking people, how do you make money? How do you survive? Teach me the way. Give me updates. Huh? So God is saying, instead of focusing on others, this one say, I'll help you. I'll show you something to do. I'll do this for you. I'll do this for you. That's why all of them are failing. Are you hearing me? So Jesus is saying, focus on me. I'll teach you how to drive. You understand? Yes, then the real representation of you is a learner. Be a learner. Let Jesus teach you than human. Human will fail you. I have people that pledge that they will never leave me in this life. They are not here. In the dream, I saw myself. I was in the office with you and Mama. So you were writing a list of something on the paper. So I was not like, ah, Papa F me. You're not like, Oba, Oba, my F me. So you said the photo somebody to go and get somebody outside then i woke up you pray never to be replaced so Simple. god is saying so that this list will not bypass you and go to somewhere else so if they have anything they are doing ensure you partake in it that you may not be replaced if not in this kingdom replacement is allowed in that dream i was in the old and in the old they were like old people old. then 
I don't know. Then when I went outside of the building, then I saw two horses. Like two horses came out from the sky. Like one was like water, and one was dark. You you saw what? In two the, horses, two horses. Two horses. One was like water, like water. All this body was water, and one was dark black. So they entered the building. Then I suddenly appeared in the building. So they were running around the building. So everywhere was scattered. Everywhere was scattered. And I was like. God was laughing. Then I said, stop, and everywhere was calm. And another dream, like I'm a graphic designer. Then one of my practice, like I practice a lot. So one of my work, I saw it outside on the board. Just, just, just. Okay, then one of the graphic designer, God is telling you that you should focus more on that. And it's going to expose you with that. Huh? Then the one you saw, horses, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. Uh, the one you saw horses, it signifies strength and work. Do you understand? That's what horses are used to do. What color are the horses? Water, the one is black. So it signifies strength. Huh? The, not just strength. You're going to possess a lot of ability to control situations that will look rowdy. Huh? Mantle of leadership. That's all. And the mantle of leadership, the one of water signifies the spirit of the Lord. The one that is, uh, signifies the other one. So even heaven, earth, you are going to have authority. So, another person. The sea you saw is not necessarily depicting the sea. It means there are trouble that are running down towards her. So God is telling you that this trouble uh, is going to go back. It's the same thing as what she saw. The cares of life. So it's coming as if it's coming close to overshadow her. But the Lord is saying that it's going to make her a conqueror and these things will go back far, far from her. Do you understand? Then the other one you saw that you, uh, so it speaks about your call and your assignment inside your call, which is a healing minister. Do you understand? So why you didn't see the person walk up is God is saying, now I want to use you for healing. But you are not prepared. That's why you will not see the person get up. So inside your dream, God is giving you another assignment. Huh? So that's all. Do you understand? I'll see war happening and people dying here and there. And I'll be the one saving, like trying to tell people where to hide, where to stay. Sometimes war. Are you sure you're not watching war film? No, 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 no. This time I. Okay, the reason why you're seeing that, that one is not a critical dream. That one is a dream that God is just trying to tell you that in the battles of life, you're going to be a savior. You're going to be picking in your assignments, picking people out of poverty, trying to help them, trying to. So that's the world you are seeing. It wasn't uh, necessarily me that had the dream, but my sister had the dream. She said, um, I was in prison, then my mom and I came to visit me. Like, I had a child too, like a boy. So they bought the boy, then I was in a terrible state, and my mom was feeling bad for me. So um, they called me from Lagos that I should be careful in all my dealings. A business, maybe real estate, cars, anything. I should just be careful in all my dealings. So that one is a direct instruction. So as you're saying it, I'm also seeing it. Not just here. I'm still seeing you abroad again, and I'm still seeing Hancock. So you need to be very extremely careful. So now you just cool it off so that you're not getting into trouble where you cannot live. Huh? So you're not getting into trouble. It's a direction. It's not a dream. So by the time you hey, you remember, it's hmm, hmm, okwe, okwe, mame. Do you understand? So in this season, most times God, that's why I'm talking about direction. God show you the trap of the devil. So if you have seen the trap, you already know how to escape it. Because every time I close my eyes, I will be seeing this. Um, I search on Google, they say they are orphan names. That name with the eye, I, I. Orphan name? Yes. It came out, out of the ground, out of the water, out of the fire, every element. And I couldn't see that. Much. So, and I couldn't get a meaning out of it. So it's very simple. God is saying you are a seer. A chose is here. So the more you begin to fast and pray, your spirit be activated and you begin to see things that are not ordinary. Do you understand? Sir, um, what does it mean for a person to dream in his dream? Very good. You having a dream inside of your dream, God is saying, take note. This is not just the spirit. There are some things that God wants to show you, but you are too close to your spirit. Your flesh is too close to your spirit. So he takes you deeper. So there, we see visions from different pedestals. Some from the third heaven. Some from the seventh heaven. Ah, this one is not made for you. So we see from different pedestals. 
Do you understand? So sometimes God make you dream. Inside your dream, you dream again. Those kind of dreams, don't joke with it. It's a clear direction. So what did you dream in your dream? Like, um, how would I put it? Um, I was in a journey. Then, um, during that journey, I dreamed. Like something like that. I was in a journey, but during that journey, I dreamed. What did you see in your dream? I can't really remember, sir. You see? Inside of a dream, he dreamt. And the devil was waiting for him there. So he, he cannot remember. So the devil knows that by the time you capture it, that's, that's what the devil is afraid of. When you capture it, you get hold of it, then you become a threat. At that point, the word cannot become real for you. Arise and shine, for your light has come. As I say, arise and shine. That's when you can arise and shine, when you have gotten it.